Breaking news, Fukushima. This thing has got me so pissed and so violated. I haven't been more upset and more pissed off since when BP spilled into the Gulf. I was so outraged nobody did anything. Posture. Since the day Fukushima happened, I gave that rant went crazy. I have never seen anything so pompous, so grotesque, so evil as CNN. The IA, TEPCO, has launched their counteroffensive against, directly against people like me. I'm fighting for my life with fucking leukemia. As I gave that fucking rant, it's going to give you leukemia. They're fucking full meltdown as they posture and groom. They have launched a full-fledged counteroffensive, CNN. Crimes against humanity. Japanese prosecutors have questioned the former head of the Nuclear Safety Agency with his consent. They're believed to have asked him about his response to the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant in March 2011. Sources told NHK on Sunday that prosecutors had questioned Haruki Mararame, the former head of the Nuclear Safety Commission. Residents of Fukushima Prefecture have accused officials in charge of nuclear safety and executives of Tokyo Electric Power Company of professional negligence resulting in death and injury. This is pure fucking evil. And if everybody isn't outraged, everybody is a totally fucking outraged at fucking this. I'm fighting for my life full day on my leukemia. This is a spit in my fucking face. They say the officials and the executives were responsible for the delay in disclosing data on radioactive materials spreading from the nuclear plant. This is evil. This is the game they want to play, all you nuclear advocates. Unite the fucking clans. Unite the fucking clans. This they also accuse them of failing to take adequate measures to deal with tsunami. He fucking says, oh, I'm going to go buy a gun to protect me. What are you going to do, shoot the isotopes out of the fucking air? Late last month, prosecutors questioned former TEPCO chairman Tsunehisa Katsumata. But some legal experts say it may be difficult to hold individuals criminally, criminally responsible for the nuclear accident. This is paramount, this is evil. If this doesn't show you that this is the crowning jewel of the 1%, nuclear energy, the easiest way to become a billionaire in the history of mankind, nuclear energy. One, TEPCO, ha the Japanese government is paying for the cleanup of TEPCO. Billions, they build clean energy. Billions. Did the population of Japan, the taxpayers, benefit from that? In Hell no! The government funds these nuclear fucking power plants, by law, you have to sell back. They don't put up one fucking nine. The NRC doesn't stand for Nuclear Regulatory Committee. Alice McFarland on her leash, bitch. It stands for Nuclear Rallying Cheerleaders. They never one fucking time, not one time the mass media has put anybody with any knowledge to counter these fucking monsters. Not one time an anti-nuclear with fucking any kind of education. I will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the world, including this bitch, any fucking day. Any day I've lived this entire thesis my whole life. The studies do exist. It's lies. Oh, we can't prove it. No, fuck, we can't prove it. The studies are there. We have the fucking studies. They've been done for years. Nuclear fallout, exposure, radiation, gives you leukemia, kills you. You're so fucking ignorant. Ignorance is an epidemic. It is an epidemic. Unite the clans. This stretch of California coastline it's paradise to many. It's just the perfect place to live. Fresh air, gorgeous ocean. But with the Fukushima disaster fresh in her mind, Donna Gilmore is questioning how safe it is to live near the San Onofre nuclear power plant. We're risking being Fukushima USA and basically devastating the economy of the country and possibly the world just for Edison's profits. Gilmore moved to Orange County, assuming that living near a nuclear plant is safe. San Onofre's reactors have been shut down since January of 2012 because a leak was detected in one of the steam generator tubes. It's not unusual for new steam generators to show somewhere, but the level of wear that we saw on the steam generators here at San, at San Onofre is highly unusual, and that's what is of concern to the NRC. Since then, environmental groups and neighbors have been trying to keep the crippled plant down. It's a lab experiment, and we're all the rats. Despite safety concerns here in San Onofre, nuclear energy could be a large part of America's energy future. The Obama administration has been an advocate for the technology, even in the wake of the Fukushima disaster. The president secured an $8.3 billion loan guarantee for two nuclear reactors in Georgia. And we're going to have to build a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in America. Nationwide, there are 104 licensed reactors. 
According to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, nuclear plants generate 20% of the electricity in the U.S. We take the operation of San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station very seriously. The operators of San Onofre presented a plan to restart their reactor at 70%. Southern California Edison is satisfied that it is safe to operate Unit 2. Some neighbors are still scared. Former nuclear executive Arnie Gunderson believes the reactor steam generator is a disaster waiting to happen. If those troops had failed, forget evacuating 10 miles. We're talking about an evacuation out to 20 or 30 miles. That type of sobering warning has mobilized communities to take on the nuclear industry. I finally got to retire, you know, in my dream place. And, and that could just be taken away in a second permanently. Because once you have a nuclear accident, you never can come home again. The San Onofre shutdown has cost more than $300 million. The tab will likely be picked up by SoCal Edison ratepayers. With growing concerns over safety, it remains to see if America's investment in nuclear will be worth the risk. In San Clemente, California, Ramon Galindo, RT. To you Californians down there at the Songs hearing, this is a major deal. This is time to be strong, be ready. I'm hoping to make it down there. I hope I get a chance to speak. Here, I want, I want to give you guys some ammo. This is a prep talk for you. Okay, you walk up in front of the NRC and you get to speak. Allison McFarland, she's the head of the NRC, which the NRC does not stand for Nuclear Regulatory Committee. It stands for Nuclear Rallying Cheerleaders. That's who they are. As she was put in place solely for one reason, to block Yucca Mountain. Here's how you stop, sons. By law. By law. Okay? Allison McFarland, okay, the NRC, you say no Yucca Mountain. You wrote a book, you're jealous, there's an ancient river under Yucca Mountain. Okay. You know, let's shoot it into space. As Harry Reid placed you there. Harry Reid worked at ATK, the rocket booster that blew up Challenger. Let's shoot it. Yeah, that's safe. Okay? So we're not going to put it there. By your own admission, let's... Review. Forty years ago when this thing was built, Sons, when the whole nuclear thing was built, you promised us this. We all fought and we said, no, 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 no. You promised this, not in a promise. This is betrayal. This is the most epic betrayal of humanity ever. Okay, Allison. Okay, the NRC. You've got Sons to shut down. Let's go back in real, legal, written promise. They are called contracts, as we are a country about law. In written text, the NRC, you are a violation of your own laws. You said, by in written law, it's written in law. All you investigative journalists, dig it out. There it is. In written law, you have to have by law somewhere for the spent fuel rods to go. No, not we're going to turn them into nuclear weapons and work in symphony in concert with the military to build nuclear bombs. What do you think they're hiding, number four? What do you think they're hiding the photographs that TEPCO put up? Why does TEPCO gather? I used to get a hundred emails a day out of Japan. I don't get one. They're arresting people left and right. This is an evil machine. The NRC, the IAA, the one percent is an evil machine. Look. Okay, Allison. So you have no place. You won't let it go into Yucca Mountain. That's why you're there. As you guys sucked up all that money for 40 years to build Yucca Mountain. No, no, we don't want to. Okay, but by law, you have to put. You have nowhere for the spent fuel rods. They're laying there, 40 years. So you're in violation of your own law. You are nuclear regulatory, paid by the taxpayer to protect us, to stand up for these laws. You are violating your own creed, your own code, your own ethics. Granted, you have no morals. You don't care. You could care less about people. Oh, go get yourself a gun to shoot the isotopes out of the air. It is obscene. It is obscene. You guys are having accidents left and right, and you support these 1% creeps. No, you are in violation of your own laws. And you cannot fire songs back up. By law. By law. Legally. Legally. All you environmental attorneys, where are you? All you rest By law. Their own law. Every one of these things should be shut down. By law. You fight with your minds. They are violating law. Songs cannot be fired up refired up legally, you, you are in violation of law just on this alone. Let's put aside the fact that you're in violation of leaks and you've lied on all that. Let's just put in pure written law, California law, United States federal law, NRC to enforce. By law, have to have somewhere to put the spent fuel rods. They promised us they would have the spent fuel rods taken care of by 1976, then by 1982, then by 1985, then 1991. It's 2013, you still store them on site. Is that the answer? Harry Reid said himself, just keep him on site. He said it! He said it himself! To the NRC, on songs, you cannot refire it up by law, legally. How can you betray us like this? How can not only are the spent fuel rods said they are one freaking airplane away, they are one earthquake away, they are one 7.0 earthquake from literally killing, killing 
many, many, many. As Fukushima is pouring into the Pacific 700 days, and you, you know, it's like it doesn't even happen. You're in denial. To the NRC, you cannot refire up songs by law. There's a moratorium. By law. Once it's shut down, none of them. You cannot. By law. Because you haven't done anything with spent fuel rods. And Allison, you say there's an ancient river under Yucca Mountain. Okay. Okay. I'll go with you. So we can't put it there. So what does that by law mean? You're the head of the NRC. What does that mean by law? That means by law that you cannot fire up another nuclear facility. You can't build one. And by law, they legally need to be all shut down. By law! By law! You betrayed us. You lied to us 40 years ago. This cannot happen. Nuclear accidents cannot happen. Well, not. It's absolutely impossible. We were told that over and over and over. Let's see. Chernobyl killed many millions of people. Fukushima going to kill millions and millions. This is coming right there. I think it's so ironic. This is in California. As the jet... We have the microbiologists, you know, boycott. You guys won't even release your own data and studies. Right there, right there where you guys are meeting, the tuna. In August of 11, showing up with plutonium. You, well, you think it's just went away? The half last 24,000 years. You know that. The NRC knows this. You know, this is what you do. You're evil. You're evil. You're evil. For this is David versus Goliath, this is William Wallace, this is Spartacans, and you are Longshanks. You are Longshanks. You really are. I mean, I'm not literally, I'm saying, oh, cursed spy for I was ever born. My father was nuked to death in the Nevada Test site. As I rant and rave about leukemia, I'm fighting for my life. Give two months to live. I was given two months to live. Fifteen months ago. Don't you spit in my face. Don't you murder me. As I say, Rachel Carson, you try to make a sequel out of me? Well, hell no. Hell no. You think you're just going to kill me and I'm going to lay down and fucking die? I watched those young people die. There was a little girl from the 22-year-old from the Ukraine when I did that with my central line hanging at me and symphony with Pussy Riot. You think I'm just going to lay down and let you kill me? Oh, fuck no. Oh, no, you mass murder and evil passive aggressive. By law. Stand up and fight this thing legally. Legal. Where are you environmentalist attorneys? Where are you people with integrity? Where are you people with your fucking minds? Where are you? You evil NRC. You are pure evil. You are the devil. You are the devil. Cannot be fired up legally until you do something with those spent fuel rods. And obviously, as your Harry Reid bitch on Elise says, leave it on sight. He placed you there just to block you up and out. Japanese medical researchers are trying to understand how cancer takes over healthy body cells. They say they've made a breakthrough. The finding could lead to new treatments for tumors that are difficult to cure. Researchers from the Jichi Medical University and the University of Tokyo examined genes found in cells of a type of bone cancer called fibrosarcoma. They found a mutant form of a gene called RAC produces an abnormal protein that causes normal cells to turn cancerous. The cancer cells died when the mutant gene stopped working. The researchers say the mutant gene is found in a type of breast cancer resistant to most standard drugs. It's also present in lung cancer and pancreatic cancer. We plan to come up with ways to screen patients with the mutant gene and develop completely new and effective drugs. Mano says the team will press pharmaceutical companies to develop cancer drugs based on the findings. North Korea has edged up its threats, saying it will have to take a stronger measure than a nuclear test. It didn't clearly mention what a stronger measure means. Was that an intelligent report? I'm confused because it seemed to be saying, we don't know. Gee, I could write that report. The statement was released by the state-run Korean Central News Agency. It condemns an ongoing U.S.-South Korean joint military exercise conducted off South Korea's eastern coast. A nuclear submarine has been deployed for the drill. North Korea appears to be preparing for a third nuclear test at the Punggye-ri test site in the country's northeast. Meanwhile, the North has announced its leadership meetings. Normally, these are never reported internationally. Observers say North Korean leaders are raising tensions to pressure the United States to hold direct talks. These make me look angrier. Let the people know I don't like them. And here we are, an awkward and completely uncomfortable stopping place. Just the perfect time to say, ta-ta for now.